Hello and welcome to this planning appeal case study video. I'm John Peters from Heal Planning. In this video, we take a look at an application to convert a detached double garage into ancillary residential accommodation. This planning application appeal location is in the London Borough of Brent. This appeal is for a full planning application against the London Borough of Brent. The application was for an application to convert a detached double garage into ancillary residential accommodation and was refused by the London Borough of Brent for the following reasons. The outbuilding for residential accommodation is contrary to Brent's development plan policy of B. MP18 of Brent's Development Management Policies 2016 and could not be secured as ancillary accommodation due to the positioning of the outbuilding and the provision of a separate gated entrance, making it capable of being independently accessed from the highway. The outbuilding is considered to provide an unacceptably poor standard of residential accommodation due to the lack of satisfactory outlook, privacy and amenity space for residents. Contrary to policies DMP1 and DMP19 of Brent's Development Management Plan Policies 2016. The application does not make adequate provision for parking to serve the proposed residential unit and host dwelling, or for cycle store and refuge storage for the proposed unit, or front soft landscaping, and it's therefore unacceptable in transport terms. Contrary to policy DMP12 of Brent's Development Management Policies 2016, London Plan 2016 Policy 6.9 and Brent's Waste Planning Guidance 2015. The appeal document for this case was a 26 page document providing a robust and comprehensive argument detailing policies in favour and why the refusal was not justified. The appeal followed our usual format, providing an introduction to what the appeal is about, then the refusal reasons and our commentary on why they were wrong. Next, we detailed the planning officer's report and provided commentary as to why and how Brent Council came to their decision on why it was wrong. We looked at issues for the appeal, used the national planning policy framework to support the appeal and showed how it relates to the appeal and where essentially Brent Council's overlooked the favourable policies. Next, we bring in Brent Council's own local planning policy, London Plan, and how in fact it supports the application. Finally, our conclusion section that provides a summary of important points. As you can see from this Planning Inspectorate decision notice, the full weight of our argument was considered and taken into account, and the planning permission was granted. The inspector, in this case, produced a four-page decision notice going into great detail throughout. The council did request some additional conditions be added should the inspector approve, one of which was accepted, and that being that the property only be used as an annex, exactly what the property owner wanted to use it for. Additional conditions relating to parking and planning were not accepted by the inspector. If you have a similar case, to this and would like a free no obligation assessment of your planning refusal with either myself or a member of our team please telephone 01743 369 911 or email appeals at planningappealsuk.com and we will only be too happy to arrange a mutually convenient time if emailing do remember to include a contact number the application address or application reference number so we can complete some preparation work prior to the call. Be sure to look up our other helpful planning appeal videos on our website www.planningappealsuk.com. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to speaking with you soon.